Hi, Will Patterson with Living Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, today we're going to discuss the Bon Air uh, neighborhood. Uh, it's located right off 264 and Bargetown Road. A uh, very quaint little neighborhood close to shopping and eateries. So let's get into this video right now. Hi, today we're going to discuss the Bon Air neighborhood. Bon Air is a small little uh, neighborhood that is located right off the uh, Waterson Expressway and Bargetown Road. Uh, the average home in this area is around $222 or $154 a square foot on average. Uh, and currently right now there are six homes available in this particular neighborhood. Uh, like I said, it's not a very big neighborhood, but it is uh, uh, a nice place to raise a family. Uh, you can see some of the pictures here. We'll go into those in more depth here in a little bit. But let's move on down and give some insight on this particular area. Uh, this area is located just off Bargetown Road at the Gene Snyder. Uh, it has lots of trees and walk lines, um, street, street lines and walk lines uh, for people to walk around the neighborhoods, walk dogs, kids to get out and play and so on. Uh, there are several restaurants that are nearby and shopping centers. Uh, you have Bashford Manor, which is just outside of it. Um, it has Lowe's and Sam's and Walmart and all those different aspects are nearby. You're also very close to the zoo, as well as, uh, like I said, uh, Gene, or the uh, Waterson Expressway. Go east or west, take you to 64, 65, uh, go straight into Bargetown Road, straight into the Highlands. And gives you some ideas right here with the pictures on what it looks like uh, part of the neighborhoods. On both of those. Uh, most of the homes in this area are brick con construction and have decent sized yards, mature trees. Uh, like a lot of these homes have been there for a little while, uh, but a lot of homes have also been renovated. Uh, so it makes it uh, for a more economical aspect of getting a, not a, a big fancy new home. Most of these homes are around 250 to 300. Uh, some are a little bit less, some are a little bit more, it just depends on the area and anything that's on a new build perspective. You have two public high schools that are in the Bonaire neighborhood. You have Goldsmith Elementary and you also have, uh, let's see, Highland Middle School is also there. Uh, both of those rated by niche. And then you also have uh, Seneca High School, which is also nearby. Also have some magnet programs as well as a bunch of athletic ap opportunities that are existing throughout this particular neighborhood. Parks and stuff around there, you have Farnsley Park, which is uh, really close to this area. Uh, it's got uh, tennis courts and so on, uh, trails to walk. Shopping chains provide convenience. There's pretty much anything that you need, whether you go north, south, east, or west, you're gonna run into different areas of shopping, as well as restaurants. And it also has a nice Heitzman's Bakery that's there. Going to the historical aspects of the area, you've got Bashford Manor, which is just down the street. Uh, it's got uh, been revitalized lately, um, probably within the last 10 years, and it's got a lot of different new uh, retail assets. And then going to downtown, you can go either either way on the uh, Waterson Expressway. It takes you to 65 or 64. Um, then you can take it downtown, or you can go straight in on Bargetown Road to take you to downtown shopping and additional uh, food and beverage outlets. So let's move up here. We'll go through a little video of Bon Air and gives you some insight up on the area and some details. Bonaire is characterized by a prominence of mid-century brick ranch homes, many with trees lining the streets. Detached garages are common, and in the evening, the street lights softly glow amid tree branches. 
colorful doors add visual flair, with most homes selling for between $250,000 and $300,000. Students can begin their educational journey at Goldsmith Elementary School, followed by Highland Middle School. Both receive grades of C from Niche, and they're followed by Seneca High School. Seneca is awarded a C-plus by Niche, featuring a magnet program on urban agriculture. Farnsley Park is the only established such area located within Bonaire's borders, offering a playground and picnic tables to its visitors while remaining open from early morning to late at night. Practice some tennis on the park's courts or simply enjoy its surroundings populated by large trees. Eden and Kissy is close by, while Yummy Pollo's menu of Peruvian charcoal chicken is a neighborhood staple. Hein Brothers Coffee Shops are a chain local to the area. The Bashford Manor Inn is a historical landmark dating to 1796, and the post-revolutionary war construction now operates as a bed and breakfast. On the eastern outskirts of Louisville, Bon Air provides Kentuckians with residential surroundings close to the downtown area. Great, I hope you liked that video. And here's some additional pictures, kind of going through some of the things that were featured there in the video with the, the Bashford Manor Inn and some of the other restaurants and retail space, the park, and then some ideas of what the homes look like in this particular area. I'll go up here and we'll go to the map area. Gets a little bit better insight upon the location. <clears throat> so this area over here is uh, I-65 and the airport down here in this lower left corner. If you come around 264, this area is Bonaire here that's highlighted. Uh, you have Bowman Field, which is the other airport that's located here in town. And then if you go down Bargetown Road, which goes down this direction, that will take you directly into downtown, which is right here. So this gives you a perspective of where this is located. As you can see it's not a real big area, but it is uh, very convenient and uh, the homes there are very nice for the price point. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you in future videos.